Today I'm on my way to the Colonia Tova, which is a German colony here in Venezuela. It's about one hour and 20 minutes away from Caracas. It's quite high in the mountains, so maybe you should bring some warmer clothes because it may be a little bit chilly out there. The colony was founded by Germans and I'm on my way to see how German it actually is. For some reason I was expecting a tiny village with like two or three streets and a few houses. But when we got to the entrance gate that welcomed us in the Colonia Tovar, we kept driving and driving. So yes, it is a village, but its size shouldn't be underestimated. But don't worry, if you get there by car, you can park it in the center and easily walk around the whole center. Since there was quite a lot of traffic close to the entrance, I was expecting a lot of people there. And I've also heard that it is a popular place for Venezuelans to go to on the weekends. But we went on a Friday and also arrived at around 12. So either we arrived early or we were lucky that day because the center wasn't crowded at all. When driving through the streets, I quickly noticed that the architecture looked very similar to the architecture in the south of Germany. I also noticed that some women were in Dörnde, which is the traditional dress of southern Germany, and some German music as well. Alright, here we are! First impression. It does look German. It does look like the south of German. Um, the architecture of the buildings is quite similar to, to Bavaria, basically. Um, and I also saw a lot of signs with German food and stuff. I even heard German music and I saw some Venezuelan girls in Dörnde, so I should have brought mine, I guess. But let's see how the food is, how the vibe here is and um, yeah, let's have a little walk. I even found signs in German and started to wonder whether there were actually still a lot of Germans here in this town. Actually, I've read that a small percentage of the people there speak a colonial German. Let me tell you a little bit about the history of this place. In 1840 in Venezuela they were looking for people who specialized in mines and agriculture and the German Alexander von Humboldt suggested to bring Germans from the region of the Black Forest to this area in the mountains of Venezuela. Due to a famine in 1842 in the south of Germany, a lot of people were struggling with hunger and malnutrition, and almost 400 Germans decided to leave the country, trust the word of Alexander von Humboldt and start their adventure across the Atlantic and settle down in Venezuela in a place where the land was known to be rich on minerals and perfect for agriculture. They founded the Colonia Tova in the middle of the mountains and of course they brought some German culture with them when settling down there. This is clearly visible today in the architecture, the food and also the dialect. In 1964 a road from Caracas to the Colonia Tova has been built and ever since then the Colonia Tova is a popular place for Venezuelans and tourists to visit for a day. Today the Colonia Tova is also known as the German village of Venezuela and about 2,000 people live in the Colonia Tovar and they mostly live from tourism and agriculture. I enjoyed walking through the cute streets that reminded me so much of my own country. There were lots of little stores that sold food, so shortly after I arrived I already made a list of things I had to try while being in the Colonia Tovar. But first I kept walking towards the main plaza, which is in front of the church, that by the way was one of the first buildings of the Colonia Tovar. It's a small church, but it's pretty and probably one of the most symbolic places of the Colonia Tovar. And everywhere I found signs for restaurants and hotels that had German names, such as Freiburg, Café Sonne, Kaiserstuhl or Selva Negra, which is the Spanish translation for Black Forest. The Black Forest, or specifically Kaiserstuhl, is the region in Germany where the people who have founded the Colonia Tovar were coming from. It was such a fun and at the same time strange experience for me because first of all I have never been to a German colony before and second of all never would I have ever expected a part of my own country in Venezuela. By the way, make sure to make a wish at this little well at the Hotel Kaiserstuhl. You always have to give these places a chance, right? Now, what is the most typical German beverage? 
right it's beer and yes of course a german colony wouldn't be a german colony without its own beer might be a bit unusual for a german but i'm not a huge fan of beer which is why i prefer to stay with strawberries and whipped cream by the way also a very typical german snack for the summer and apparently a must try if you go to the colonia tovar all right it's time to try some real food Honestly, I had my doubts that this far away from home, I would really taste something that actually has the taste of Germany. So far, the German colony reminded me a lot of Germany, but now it was time to test how German the German village of Venezuela really is. There were so many interesting and cute restaurants, so many options to choose from, some of them offering a beautiful view over the Colonia Tovar, and some great photo spots. But I went to a place that was called Das Brötchen. There I've tried probably the most delicious juice of my life. It was pure juice made of fresh peach. Something that delicious for sure doesn't exist in Germany. But let's talk about how German the food in the German village of Venezuela really is. I ordered the most typical German sausage, a bratwurst, and it came with bread and a potato salad. A friend of mine ordered a burger and well, the first impression of the burger was that it looked like a mixture of a Venezuelan and German burger. It didn't came with all of these things that Venezuelan burgers have. In case you've seen my video about Venezuelan food, you already know what I'm talking about. But it was huge anyway and it did have more ingredients than a typical German burger. Also, I thought it was kind of funny that the burger came with bratwurst as well. Anyway, it did look delicious. Time to give the potato salad a try. It's actually something very typical in Germany. There is no barbecue without a potato salad. But honestly, I was more curious about the bratwurst. I have tried them in many countries and most of the time I have been disappointed. All right, German food was pretty good. Actually, the potato salad and also the sausage were pretty close to what I'm used to. Um, it's never the same if you're that far away from your home country, but I tried those sausages in Barcelona in Spain a couple of times and every time I was a bit disappointed and here I was, I mean, it's so much further away from Germany and the sausages here are better than in Spain, definitely. So it definitely was delicious and it came pretty close to what I'm used to in Germany. I highly recommend it. Never would I have ever expected to find a place that is so German, so far away from Germany. Not only the architecture, but also the whole decoration was 100% typical for Germany. And then also the food was really a surprise. I wasn't expecting to find a potato salad in Venezuela that reminded me of the potato salad that my mother used to make for me for my birthdays. And I also wasn't expecting to find a sausage in Venezuela that tasted more German than sausages in other countries of Europe. This village really was a very positive surprise. I wasn't expecting it to remind me so much of home. Seriously, if they had spoken German with me, I wouldn't have believed that I was actually in Venezuela. The Colonia Tova really deserves the title German village of Venezuela. Before going back to Caracas, we went to a beautiful place that is very close to the Colonia Tovar and you should definitely make sure to stop here as well. It's a beautiful treehouse with an impressive view and a restaurant. A beautiful spot that you shouldn't miss. The entrance is one dollar per person and when we were there, there weren't many people and we could fully enjoy the treehouse. I could have spent hours there. Just look at these views. I don't know why, but mountains always leave me speechless and I could enjoy views like that for hours and hours. Maybe it's because I am from the north of Germany, which is totally flat and without any mountains. All right guys, that was the Colonia Tovar. I totally loved this place and enjoyed to find a piece of home so far away from my country. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in case you have any questions. The next adventure will be on the most beautiful island I have ever seen. Yes, I will go back to the Caribbean Sea of Venezuela. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss out on that adventure and I hope to see you in the next video.